In this problem, we have a motor that is being delivered electricity at a specified uh, voltage and current, and we know how fast that motor is then lifting one of the weights that's attached to two different spools that are attached to its shaft. And what we need to figure out is, given this information, what is the overall efficiency of this system. So the interesting thing about this problem, kind of the first place we need to start, is realize that uh, we do know the speed of weight one, right? That's this one that's going up uh, at a specified speed of two feet per second. Okay, we don't know the speed of this other weight over here. And so I'll call that just V2, okay? That's kind of the first step of our problem is to figure out what the speed is of that other weight. And the reason I know this is that the kind of basic equation I'm going to start with is that power is equal to force times velocity. Okay, so if I can figure out the velocity of these two weights lifting, then my total amount of useful energy I'm getting out of the system is going to be the force in each of these. Uh, multiplied by the speed that they are going or the velocity that they're going that gives me my total amount of useful power out of the system if I divide by that by the amount of electrical power I have to deliver to the system then that gives me my efficiency alright so uh, toward that end what I'm gonna first do is figure out rotational speed of the shaft and to get rotational speed what I need to do is take the linear speed of two feet per second and uh, I don't actually really like this unit of uh, feet particularly for this particular problem so I'm going to multiply by 12 inches per foot okay if I take this and I divide it by the circumference of that first spool that is how many revolutions it takes you know, the circumference is how many revolutions it takes uh, or how far it will go in one revolution is really what I should say so I have pi times four inches okay that's how far it goes per revolution okay and if I punch these into a calculator I end up with two times twelve divided by the quantity of pi times 4. Okay, and what we find there is this ends up giving me uh, 1.91 or so. I'm going to actually store that into A. Okay, 1.91 or so goes in there. What are the units on that? Well, it ends up being the feet cancel out the inches cancel out and it's revolutions per second okay so that's the rotational speed that I have at the first uh, part of this problem okay uh, once I have the rotational speed what I need to do is figure out what is this linear speed of the second weight so I'll call that again v2 V2 is just going to be equal to the rotational speed I just found of 1.91 uh, revolutions per second. Okay, multiplied by how far we go in one revolution, which is just going to be equal to pi times the diameter, and the diameter of that other part is 7 inches. This is how far it goes in one revolution. All right, and so what we end up coming with, coming up with out of this is uh, that previous answer uh, times pi times 7, which just gives me 42, uh, and that would be in units of inches per second. Okay. Um, what we'll notice here though is that we have some information about the power that is being put into the system uh, it's going to be in in volts and amps and that is kind of essentially SI uh, type of units in nature and so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is convert this to an SI um, 
speed and to do that I'll remember that 2.54 centimeters is one inch and I'll also remember that there are a hundred centimeters in a meter and this allows me to cancel inches it allows me to cancel those centimeters and it ends up giving me uh, a value that's in meters per second Okay, so here I multiply this by 2.54 and I divide by 100. And this gives me 1.0668. Okay, uh, and that is in, if we kind of look at this, meters per second. All right. So that's my velocity 2. What I probably should do is also do something like this for velocity 1 so that I have that in SI units as well. So I have 2 uh, feet per second. Okay, if I take that and I multiply it by 12 inches per foot, then multiply it by uh, I want to get rid of my inches, right? So I have 2.54 centimeters in an inch. And I also want to get that into meters. So I multiply by 1 meter per 100 centimeters. And after I have uh, completed all of these calculations, 2 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 100 that gives me 0 0.6096 okay in meters per second okay so that is how fast um, Weight number one is lifting, okay? So what we can now do is figure out what our useful power out of the system is. So I'll say useful power out is going to be equal to 1.0668 meter per second, okay? That is actually going to be multiplied by uh, we need it really actually multiplied by a value that is in Newtons. All right, we have the value actually for that weight. It's given in uh, pounds. So we actually have this multiplied by 21 pounds. So we need to bring in another relationship. And so I put that in up here. This was typically given at the end of, some, of a midterm exam or a final exam that we would give in uh, an engineering, a freshman engineering class. Okay, so I need to apply that and the way it's applied is 4.448 newtons per pound. Okay, so that's part of my power out. The next part is gonna be however much comes from weight number one. Okay, so weight number one is traveling at 0 0.6096 meter per second. Okay, it has a weight of 14 pounds. And I would also need to apply this conversion rate of 4.448. Newtons per pound. All right, and after punching all of these into my calculator, <clears throat> I may as well start with this one since I have it nice and handy there. I've got that times 14 times 4.448, and then to that I will add 1.0668 times 21 times 
and this gives me the number of watts that I get out of the system, 137.61. Okay, how do I know it's watts? Well, we can look at these units here. The pounds cancel, okay, and I end up with newton meter per second, and a newton meter per second is a watt, and so that's what I will say here at the end is that that ends up in watts. How do I figure out efficiency? Well, efficiency is just equal to the useful power out divided by the required power in. Which comes in electrically for this particular problem. And so the way that looks for us is that this efficiency ends up being 137.61 watts over, uh, we need to use uh, voltage times current. So here down here I have 6 volts times 30 amps. Volts times amps gives watts, and so this fraction here works out to where we have watts over watts, giving a unitless value for efficiency, which is good, because that is, um, that is correct for efficiency. All right, so I take this value and divide it by 6 times 30, okay, which gives me a uh, efficiency here of 0.7645, we'll say. Okay, if I express that in a percentage, all I do is multiply by 100, and that gives me 76.45%, which I find that right here. I hope this has been a useful problem for you, and if it has, I'd appreciate it if you would have subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching.